2013 Jaguar. Uh, just got a little bit of overspray on it. This, the paint scuffed a bit. But this is actually normal. This is one of uh, 100 made. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Do that. You can see it's all scuffed. All right. We'll get started on it. It's a National Overspray Removal Service. This here Jaguar's got a little bit of overspray. It's not bad. Got my wax on there. We use the Auto Magic Clay Jaguar. Clay right through that wax. This method here is the same method I use on every vehicle. Clean thousands of vehicles like this. The wax, what it does is it lubricates along with the dishwashing liquid, cut down on any friction. But in the same stroke, it also increases the strength level of the clay bar. Because of I, you know, the properties of the wax and the, the dishwasher. So what you basically want to do is put the wax on there. One squirt of Dawn dishwasher liquid. Take the clay, give it some strokes like that. When it gets flat, don't keep pancaking it on there like you see people telling you to do. Flip it to another side. It's called kneading. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this buffer at a very low RPM. It's not necessary to buff things at high RPM. Had some uh, surface scratches, spider web all over this hood. Look at the, the paint now. It had some really, really kind of just regular or someone from washing it at car washes and such. But that finish is much better now. Smooth as ice. Oh, yeah. You hear absolutely no sound. You hear sound when you're playing a car, you're scuffing it. That sound you hear is particles, whatever. I don't have to buff it with a compound. This side here has been repainted. Maybe I can feel the difference in the clear coat right there. It's a little dry spray.
that turn on? And the glass. Just knocking out several steps as far as what you have to do to restore the finish when you stop going with compounds and such. Now, you know the lighting's not that good, but like I say, I know it's looking good. Top, same thing. The quarter panel. It had a haze on it, had some, like maybe, I think this side might have had a little issue and they did some body work and maybe some little dry spray there, right through here. Now I'm gonna do this wing, it's all scratched up. This wing looks terrible. finished product it's a whole different color isn't it Beautiful. I like that color when I first seen it that's kind of flat Car. Kill it, Mike. Wow, look at that. That's what a supercar is supposed to look like. Yes. Even like the black trim, like right through here has been polished. This piece of door right there. The tail lights. Hey, the chrome emblems, the Jaguar emblems, and all that's been polished. Looks. Oh, she's sweet. It's amazing. Under the underpass, passes, hit the gas a little bit. It's got that European exhaust, like, you know. Yeah, he was telling me about the new one that's coming out. It's like 600 horsepower. I'm like, Ooh do you wee. realize that I'm already, like, <laughs> almost killing myself right now? Not just 600 horses, 600 refined power. Damn it, that's good. The Rover's going to look even better. The Rover needs a bad flat. Did you go through the drive through so much in that one? Well, what I like is all these pieces are polished. Yeah, I know People don't good, tend to, yeah. to stay away from that, but that's how it looks good. You know? All right, now it's daylight. Now you get a better look at the paint. 
Last night it got a little dark on us. Look at that paint. It's perfect. And this is uh, one of 100 made. Is that what you told me, Mike? That wing looks so much better. I like the hood on it. And this one's supercharged too, right? 575 horses. Didn't she say 575? Maybe with turbo kicked in. I don't yeah. Know. It's probably with turbo. Alright. I like the wing on it though. That wing was really trashed. <laughs>